All right, let's do an example on calculating a curve runoff number. All right, so let's say we had a site, or let's say we had a city. Okay, I'm going to call this semi city. It's my city, mine, mine, mine. So let's see at this uh, city here, okay? And let's say this city was divided up into uh, three parts. Okay, so there's one, there's two. Uh, let's say this first part was 10 acres. 10 acres, and it was comprised of two acre lots. Two acre lots, okay? And this part down here was also uh, two acres, and it was comprised of a paved road with gutters. Paved road with gutters, okay? Paved road with gutters, and then down here you had two acres of woods. Okay, so you're in the woods. Okay, and let's say the soil in this city was 40% uh, sand. Let's say it was 30% silt and 30% clay. Okay, so 40% sand, 30% silt, 30% uh, clay. Now when we need to calculate our curve runoff number, remember our equation was curve runoff the city is the sum of the curve number i times its area over the total area. We can actually calculate total area right now. Area total is 10 acres plus 2 acres plus 2 acres. So 10 plus 2 plus 2, that's 14 acres. Okay. In order to figure out what the curve number is, we have to look look up um, these numbers in this chart okay but before we even do that uh, we need to figure out what type of group uh, this uh, city belongs to what type of soil group it belongs to is it group a is it group b group c or group d well first let's figure out what the soil type is okay so we have uh, we have this texture triangle, right? Let me rewrite the different soils. It was 40% um, sand. And then the last two were 30, 30, and then I think it was silt and clay. Okay, so let's do the sand first. Let's take a straight line. So 40% sand, we come to the sand side, which is here at the bottom. Uh, we draw a line parallel to the way the number is written. Um, should look something like that. So there's 40% sand, and then you have 30% silt. So silt here is on the right side. Uh, 30 is right here. You draw a line that's um, parallel to the way the uh, number is written. So that's 30% right there. And then finally you have 30% uh, clay, and clay is here on the left side. So you take a line, you draw it right there. Okay. And the soil seem to intersect. Uh, right, right here, oh, right there. Oh, that's a tiny, tiny little dot, right there. So that dot seems to land right here in clay loams, clay loams, clay loams. And if you remember, uh, clay loams belong to soil group, guess, 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 C. Clay loams are in group C. Okay, so we know we have a group C soil. Okay, that gives us some useful information, right? So we need to calculate the curve runoff numbers for each of the, or we need to calculate the curve runoff number for the whole city, but we need to know the curve numbers for each of the areas. So uh, let's let's make a little chart A I, and then the curve runoff number I. Okay, so for area one, is comprised of ten acres of two acre lots. So if we look at this chart. If we go down here uh, to residential average lot sizes, we have two acre lots, and we assumed it's group C, so group C would be 77, okay? So let's go back here, let's write 77 there, and then we have this second area of um, paved road with gutters. Uh, there's two acres there, 
So we come to this chart, we look for paved road with gutter, which is right here. Paved road uh, with curbs and gutters, right? Storm sewers. And we come over here and we read that it's 98 for group C. Remember, uh, column one here is um, group A, you have column two is group B, then you have C and you have D, so it's 98. 98 and then finally you have two acre lots two acre lots of woods and then if you go to this chart uh, or any one of your charts uh, wood woods would be right right here and there's three different um, hydrologic conditions poor fair good since the problem didn't tell us what the hydrologic condition is we can assume it to be fair okay so fair and it was group C so curve runoff number is 73 so I'm going to write 73 here, okay? So um, if we, let me actually move this. Uh, let's move it, let's move it here to the side, okay? So move it there. Um, our formula is CN times AI, or CNI times AI. You add all those together, divided by the total area, and you should get your curve runoff number for the whole city. So uh, let me do that in blue or light blue. CN weighted is equal to, let's do the first one, CN times AI, 77 times 10 acres. So 77 times 10 plus uh, 98 times 2, 98 times 2 plus 73 times 2. And you divide it by the total area, and total area we calculated here was 14. And if you punch that into your calculator, uh, you should get 79. So the curve runoff number is pretty high, not too high, but it's relatively high. Uh, that means there's a pretty good chance of um, high runoff, okay, for Simi City. Right. So that was a quick example on how to uh, calculate curve runoff numbers using the soil uh, texture triangle and a curve runoff number charts. All right.